Architectural Review is a national platform where science and art meet, where the issues facing builders and consumers take center stage, where the spotlight seeks out and shines on the creators and innovators. This editorial series, featured on national television, singles out architectural achievements from tools to technique, from form to function. Boulderscape was handpicked as a featured guest because of its commitment to promoting progress in the world of architecture. Morley Safer. Beauty and practicality, two seemingly opposing terms, but they don't have to be. Art and science can be good partners, as we're about to see. Visual pollution, it's everywhere. Concrete structures, disrupted landscapes, optical assaults that seem inevitable in the wake of progress. But some communities have seen enough. The California Environmental Quality Act requires that a visual element be included in any EIR, or environmental quality, or impact report rather, uh, for a project. And more and more communities are stepping in and, and wanting to see exactly what the solution that the applicant is proposing so that any walls would be very visually compatible with their surroundings and fit into their communities. Public concern has led many agencies to put more value on visual outcome. First and foremost, the agency's objective is safety. But we work very closely with the cities to make sure that our projects aesthetically blend in with their natural environments. Designers have come up with various solutions to help keep man-made structures, such as highway retaining walls, from appearing obtrusive. Crib walls, which are like Lincoln logs stacked on top of each other and then planted to create a green wall, are one solution for getting, for mitigating the visual appearance of these walls. The, another is uh, Luffelstein walls, which are a, like a series of drawers full of soil that are stacked on top of each other and planted as well. Then Jim encountered a project that required more than just build and fill. We were faced with a cut slope condition and a crib wall is not the best solution for a cut slope condition. So the soils engineer came up with a soil nail wall which works with a cut slope and my main concern was what is this wall going to look like when it's finished? This type of cut rock has its own challenges. In an effort to mimic geological formations, specialists at Boulderscape have developed techniques to help create more natural solutions. The first process in designing the sculpted rock wall finish is to assess the characteristics of the rock formations in the area. Once this has been done, a sculpted mock-up is created to represent a certain portion of that sculpted rock area that needs to be replicated. And then the sculpted rock formation process begins in which a nozzle man applies a shotcrete to the existing retaining wall. Ten minutes after the concrete is applied, artisans follow up to create texture. They begin by sculpting in different types of crevicing, outcroppings, and stratification, as well as adding natural stone into the face of the wet shotcrete. Then, after that process is finished, they let the shotcrete cure. The staining is a multi-part process in which a base coat is applied, which is the main color of the entire wall, and then multi-layers of what is called accent coating is applied to the wall and is used to highlight crevicing, outcroppings and add shadowing to the wall so it creates a more 3D appearance. The end result was a wall that was very natural and very believable as a natural formation. Even on a large scale, the, uh, the community expressed uh, their, their delight in it being constructed and in fact many people didn't even know there was a wall there. We had a rock slide and a major boulder fell on the road and we, once we were able to clear the road and get the resultant retaining wall built, we were able to use this technology to blend the new wall into the natural surroundings. Aesthetically speaking, and judging from the local community's support and response, this project was an extreme success. 
Looking down the road to future design techniques, it may be through public demand that more architects and planners travel the route of scenic innovation. The world of architecture and design is a fascinating and creative place. As new ideas and developments occur, American Architectural Review will share them with you. The wall was such a success that the governing agency in the city of San Diego received a, an award for that wall and for the, all of the road work that was done in conjunction with it. And because of that, it is now a known quantity. And I think they will repeat this process on other projects. These sculpted rock formations can be designed in rock texture and in coloring to match any type of natural rock formation in the world. We have applied them throughout the United States and are highway and roadway approved. Once again, American Architectural Review extends a special thanks to the companies and organizations that have risen to meet the challenges of today's architectural industry.